In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. <clears throat> Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we celebrate the votive Mass of the Most Holy Eucharist. And today, we offer this Holy Mass for Mary Alice Gallagher. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Christ Jesus, you are the cup of blessing. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we, who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase of your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my Lord, and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asks, my Lord asks your servant, have you a father or another brother? So he said to my Lord, we have an aged father, and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, bring him down to me that my eyes may look on him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant, our father, said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me, too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants, so he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were, but his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him. And so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now do not be distressed, 
and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. They had weighed him down with fetters and he was bound with chains till his prediction came to pass and the word of the Lord proved him true. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. Do not take gold or, or silver or copper for your bells, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The labor deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable, to, tolerable for the Lamb of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the Lord sent to his apostles to proclaim the good news of the gospel. He said, go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is our duty to, to announce the good news, to proclaim to the world that God exists, God loves us, God is our creator, and he sent his only son for our salvation. This is the heart of our message to the world. This is the heart of the message of the gospel. God loves you. See how great is his love for you. You can see on the cross 
that love from his beloved from his beloved son Jesus Christ died for you for your salvation the salvation is for everyone but we need to accept his salvation we need open the door in our soul in our heart to his salvation and this is the great message of the gospel and you and me we are evangelizers that is our mission too as a christian people to live according to our faith and to announce to others that this great treasure we believe in god we believe in his presence in our life we believe in his grace we are not alone and many people today needs hear these words needs to know that someone loves them someone offered his life for them that is our mission i repeat and in order to that we need two important things in today's gospel the lord said without cost you have received it without cost you are to give everything is a gift is a blessing from God. Everything that you have is thanks be to God. If you receive everything without cost, it's your duty to be grateful, to offer to others without cost the gift that you receive. You have faith. Proclaim that faith to others once. Your talents, your time, if you can offer that to other ones. Because the most important is the salvation. The most important is one day we enter in the kingdom of heaven. That is the most important. And it's our mission. We are witnesses of God, witnesses of Jesus Christ in this world. And maybe one time, you are the special instrument from God to others. With one word from your mouth, one action, one word of charity, through you, the Lord manifest, manifested his love to other ones. It's our mission. With gratitude, because everything is a blessing, is a gift from God. And the second important thing is, is trust, trust in God, trust in Jesus. He said to his apostles, do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for your journey, or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. Don't put your trust in your own strength. Trust in God. Offer to him your efforts. Pray to him for that person that you for that person that you want to announce the good news. Trust in the power of the grace of God. These two important things in order to be a good witnesses of God. Gratitude and trust. Gratitude because everything is a blessing and trust because the successful of the evangelization is not in our strength, in our good ideas. The successful of the evangelization is in Jesus Christ himself, his mystery, his love for us. Let us ask to the Lord that increased our faith one more time. This is our daily prayer, or should be our daily prayer. Lord, increase my faith and help me to be a good witness for others. Witness of your love. You are my God. And I know that everything that I have is from you. Let us pray in silence.
mindful that Christ is divine and we are the branches, we present these prayers to our sustainer and our hope. For our leaders in the church, that the word of the Lord may prove them true and make them strong in their proclamation of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that the blessing of peace we offer in Christ's name may at last find a resting place in, our, in hearts and homes and in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For all who have suffered betrayal and hatred from those closest to them, that like Joseph, they may come to see what good God can bring out of it for themselves and even for those who wrong them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in a famine time of their lives, that they may find a Joseph who by God's grace have kept blessings in reserve to sustain them until the rains come again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and come through their own day of judgment, that God's mercy may purify them to be worthy of a place at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for the eternal rest of Mary Alice Gallagher. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we, are we pray for the unity in our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for our parish community and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, you offered your beloved Son in the sacrament of the Eucharist. We humbly bring these prayers in the name of Christ, our portion and our cup. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper, with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so, we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bath in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are Indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For, and this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be course to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. A new day with all his begat amundi misere de nobis A new day Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray.